Hello and welcome to the Daily Devotion from the Green Bay Valley Church of the Nazarene for January the 4th, Monday. This week our contributing author is Rachel Kuhn from Trip City, Ohio where she is the pastor of Trip City Church of the Nazarene. And today we are going to be looking at the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verses 1 through 8 and here is the word of the Lord comfort comfort my people says your God speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim her that her hard service has been completed that her sin has been paid for that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins a voice of one calling, In the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out, and I say, what shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our Lord endures forever. And this is the word of the Lord. In her article titled, Blow It Up, Rachel writes, I am a West Virginia girl. I have always been and always will be, no matter what my address reads. It is my home and I adamantly adhere to the fact that it is the most beautiful place in the world. On our most recent trip from Ohio to West Virginia, my youngest son asked why the mountains look so weird. I proceeded to explain that dynamite was used to break apart the mountains so that traveling through Appalachia would be easier. To make highways, mountains must be blown up. This process is also necessary in humanity. The prophecy of Isaiah was fulfilled through the work of John the Baptist. John was the harbinger, preparing the way for the royal king, Jesus. By calling people to repentance, he was declaring, the mountain of sin and death in your life needs to be blown up. Get ready, the king is on his way. It is possible that there are mountains in your life that need some dynamite to work to make a way for all that the king wants to do in your life. Allow God to search your heart and do the work that needs to be done. The hymn is Jesus Paid It All by Alvina M. Hall. Lord, now indeed I find thy power and thine alone can change the leper's spots and melt the heart of stone. And from 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 we read, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. Instead he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. And this is your daily devotion for Monday, January the 4th. Have a blessed day and a wonderful week.